Bitcoin bull markets, bear markets, trend analysis, at the core, at the foundation of all of these things is one very simple thing, mathematics and symmetry. How could mathematics give us clues in the middle of this bull market in terms of what might happen next for Bitcoin? What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe and like on the way in. Let's talk about this. This is a this is a really important video because foundationally to a lot of my technical analysis on the macro and the micro is this Mac is the mathematics is the Fibonacci. I'm, I'm, I'm made fun of a lot for how often I use this tool. And I want to break it down because I know it's been a while since I, I've done a video on this. I did a video. This was September right before the bull market really began in November. Mathematics will predict Bitcoin bull market. This BTC prediction will blow your mind. And here's the video, and I basically was discussing Fibonacci, really breaking it down. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking that out. But what is Fibonacci? The Fibonacci sequence and the golden mean reveal an extraordinary phenomenon that occurs throughout nature, art, music, mathematics, also known as the golden ratio or golden section. The golden mean is a mathematical ratio that artists, architects, and musicians have used to craft their art form for centuries. I should add in there traders. I should add in there investors. And... Again, this is, and I'm not going to dig into it. You can definitely read about it. I'll put a link in the description on what the mathematics really, truly consists of, but it is used in uh, art, in music. We see it all around architecture. Um, here's an article just talking about some buildings, California uh, Polytechnic Engineering Plaza, the United Nations building in New York, um, all based on Fibonacci. And you can just see just the, the symmetry in some of these buildings. You can also see it, probably most importantly, in nature, because it is not so much a mystery, although maybe potentially revealing the mysteries of God, the mysteries of our creator, we find these things. We find the harmony when we just look at the sky, we look at the, the ocean, we look at God's creation. And so it's no surprise when you look at a chart, you see just this, this flow, this this trend that looks volatile when you're zoomed in, but looks very, very uh, consistent when you zoom out. And it's kind of like, what is that, right? Why, why when you zoom out on Bitcoin, it looks almost too predictable? And I think it's because behind the numbers, behind the mathematics are human beings. And, and we're, we're, we want to see trends. We want to see, and when it comes to investing and technical analysis, we want to see support and resistance tested and broken. And, and we, want these, the, the, we want to see the math play out on the screen uh, in, in the long-term grand scheme of things. And so it is from a technical analysis perspective alone, putting aside the fundamentals of Bitcoin, we see the harmony. We see this long-term trajectory that just looks too much like art. I mean, this looks like it could be an art piece, right? Uh, and very, very symmetrical. So I want to talk about now, how can we use it right now in the middle of this bull market? And this is how. Um, and I want to actually, I want to preface this. I created this chart, and many of you know if you've been watching my videos, I created this chart right, right back here, the bottom of the 2018 bear market. And I was using Fibonacci to truly find the bottom of the bear market. And I'd say we did a good job right under the 786 line. What that 786 line is, real quick, just to give you an idea, is the bear market low to the bull market high of 2017. And we have this green channel that you see me charting right now. I know there's a lot of green channels, but let me zoom in. This green channel right here, we kind of just, in this whole bear market, fell to this 786 line right down here and below it. Accumulation on the macro, truly, in my opinion, should begin within this Fibonacci support. Anything below 786 line is a steal. And when I did this video back here, it was kind of just like, man, this is, this is it. Bitcoin is just so oversold. We're below the 786. And there's a lot of data besides just that bear market low in 2015 to 2017 that suggested that that was the bottom of the bear market. There's, there's other indicators. There's other things going on besides just the Fibonacci. But the Fibonacci is such a powerful tool. And so here we are, and we use the Fibonacci not just to find the bear market low, but also to find bull market entry. 
And what you see here is, is that entry, right? In November, that's the bull market high to bear market low. And you see this Fibonacci, that 786 to 618, that green rectangle we call uh, the Fibonacci bull market doors. And if you notice, if you zoom out on Bitcoin, playing into that harmony that we talked about on the screen, just look at the growth, the, tra the trajectory, the, the almost art-like essence of Bitcoin, you can see this happened not just this last bull market or this current bull market, but also back here, right? Entering those Fibonacci, entering this Fibonacci all the way back here in 2013. On top of that, confluent with all of these things, each time Bitcoin has broken that Fibonacci uh, was just after Bitcoin put in a halving. So 2020 halving, here's the 2016 halving, and then we're breaking that Fibonacci, that green 786 to 618. Here is the 2012 halving, breaking the Fibonacci bull market doors all the way back there. Um, and then all along the way, seeing this, this uh, volatility. Um, but one thing I just want to point out, I was just thinking on, on, as I was doing this video, Bitcoin, we know, we talked about this in, in the previous weeks, this 1618 line right here in the middle of the last bull market, Bitcoin kind of made it run up and then boom, like a 40% dip or so to that 1618 for continuation. Right now we're getting a very similar thing. Boom, revisit to the 1618. What I want to just point out is each time Bitcoin broke the bull market doors, Bitcoin actually never saw those prices again, right? So meaning back here, the bull market doors were $25 down to $19, that green rectangle. That was the bull market doors. Bitcoin never saw that price again after breaking it post the 2012 halving. Bitcoin never saw these prices again. We're talking about, you know, $950 to around $800 back in 2017 after breaking it never saw it again. And here we are now, we have this interesting Fibonacci and, and we have to let this play out. Just because it didn't happen before doesn't mean we, we can't revisit it, but I think the clues are there. And we have this Fibonacci around 16,000 to around you know $13,000, the bull market doors that we just broke through not that long ago, just this past November. If historical data proves consistent in this long-term trajectory, in the trend analysis that we're doing, Bitcoin won't revisit this area again. And again, I want to preface, underline, highlight, this isn't definite. Bitcoin could fall there. It could happen for the first time. But historical data is suggesting it won't. And from there, we can look at something. And this is kind of what I want to look at. Not only from, from a lot of data within Bitcoin, on-chain metrics, charting data, like visiting the 1618, similar to how we did back here. Not only those things are we potentially in the middle of this bull market, but if we see continuation here, something really important happens. And that is this, we take, our, we take our Fibonacci and we take the Fibonacci from the bear market low. And this is the inverse of the bull market door Fibonacci. This is kind of a support Fibonacci we're looking for. So bear market low to the current bull market high. And you have this green rectangle and it's right here. So you have this green rectangle, um, right around 26,500 down to $16,000. That is a very similar support that Bitcoin had right here from the bear market low of 2015, 17 high, and then back down to that support, right? So this is our new bear market low support area. But the thing, I, the reason I want to chart that for you is this, what we need to track and this will be important as we, if, if Bitcoin continues into this bull market and we're putting in new, new all-time highs, potentially approaching 90,000, 100,000 plus, this is important because this is how we're going to identify the true long-term next bear market low, that next swing low for Bitcoin. So bear market low to, if Bitcoin continues to the upside, look how this support moves up, right? If Bitcoin can get to, let's say, $130,000 in, in the bull market high, this Bitcoin support for the next bear market is around 51000 to 30000 A lot of what I'm doing is speculative, but this is exactly, this is exactly how we determined really two extremely important things, the bear market low of 2018, and it's also how we determined how bullish Bitcoin was, was getting in November uh, of 2020. 
So we're using just the same exact tools. And I know it's speculative. I know it's kind of in the future here, but I'm trying to really allow us to gain perspective on the entirety of this Bitcoin trend, this long-term Bitcoin trend. It is so important if you're a long-term investor to get the macro scope of things. And right now, we don't know what will happen next. Maybe Bitcoin does fall back to the bull market doors and, and we're testing that or even breaking that area again. Who knows what is in store in the short term? But, but the charts suggest that Bitcoin is in the middle of this bull market and we'll never see this price again. And it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. And it's going to be very interesting if we can get all new, new all-time highs for Bitcoin to see where the next support area on this macro Fibonacci would be. Interestingly enough, as many of you know, we've been tracking the short-term Fibonacci's. The short-term Fibonacci's give us just as much accuracy and consistency on these charts. Never guaranteed, but just so often so true. And here's a clip from just two days ago on the short-term. Check this out. So to that swing high, Bitcoin has this extremely important support area that you see in green here. That's a short-term high or low area. Now this, this is, so just as we're talking about trends and supports and resistance on the macro, this is what it looks like on the, on the micro, on the zoomed in. And here's that incredibly important support area. It was that swing low to this swing high here and Bitcoin, you can just see wicked right into the support area currently bouncing off of this. And this is what we're tracking on the very short term. Bitcoin really needs to, really needs to put in this trend reversal, you know, this swing low this higher low, which is right at the 618 to 786. And if you look at this, if you envision this as a weekly chart, you get the same sense of what we were just talking about on that macro, on that weekly. And the same types of harmony happens on the screen, on the short term that we see on the long term. So this is the current support for Bitcoin we just broke, we just bounced off of, you know, in the last day or so. Um, and really to really track this on the, on the zoomed in charts, Bitcoin has to really even it has to break the short-term resistance now. So that's this previous swing high to this swing low support that we just had. And Bitcoin, you can see, not surprisingly, putting in resistance at the, at the 618 line here on this very short-term Fibonacci resistance, 33,400. And the resistance goes up to the 786, around $34,300. That's currently the resistance. We want to see Bitcoin break that uh, to put in this reversal to start really, truly confirming the bulls. And that's all we're doing on the short term here. And on the long term here, we're confirming bulls, we're confirming bears, we're confirming trends, and we're patiently doing these things. So I wanted to break it down for you. I talk about Fibonacci all the time. I figure now would be a good time to kind of see how that 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 kind of plays into the, the long term story of Bitcoin right now. I appreciate all of you cruising by hit the subscribe, hit the like, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.